Our topic is dynamic host configuration protocol. To understand the job of this protocol, we will take an example of home network scenario. We all know a device needs an IP address before going on internet. But you never set an IP address in your laptops and mobile phones. So how these devices get an IP address? Actually, when your device comes in home network, your home router send an IP address to it. It is possible because dynamic host configuration protocol is running in your home router. So we say DHCP's job is to dynamically configure devices. Now we will study what configurations DHCP does send. It does send IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, DNS server address of local network. IP addresses can be same each time, that is static, or temporary, that is leased. To understand the need of static and leased IP addresses, take an example of your university campus, where devices join and leave the network frequently. They cannot be given same IP address every time, rather they are given temporary IP address for a limited period. On the other hand, a device needs same IP address every time if it is working as a server in a network, for example, database server or proxy server. And DHCP can configure both types of IP addresses that are temporary and static. To understand the working of DHCP, assume given network setting. There are three network segments, green, pink, and blue. And these are the network addresses of each. You can see two DHCP servers are running in this network. Yes, in real network, it is possible. And this is the newly arriving host. I deliberately designed it like that because this will help to understand further concepts. DHCP process involves four steps, discover, offer, request, and acknowledgement. You remember cartoon character Dora? So it's Dora process. Look on top left side, DHCP server is present. It has an IP address, while on the top right side, DHCP client is present, which will request an IP address. When a newly arrived client comes in a network, it starts discovery process by broadcasting DHCP discover packet. Look at the first value, Source field is 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0. It means IP address is not set, while 68 is the port number that DHCP client uses. Destination is 255.255.255.255. We have already discussed this packet is being sent as a broadcast, so all devices in the network will receive it. If in this network DHCP server is listening on port number 67, it will process this packet. The fourth value, that is your IP address field, is set 0.0.0.0. .0. Actually, this IP field carries offered IP address, but at this stage, no IP address is being offered by the server, so it is not set. Last field in DHCP discover packet is transaction ID which is randomly chosen by the client. If a DHCP server present in the network, then on receiving a DHCP discover packet, it responds with DHCP offer packet. In this packet, source field contains the IP address of the device that is sending this DHCP offer. This packet is being sent as a broadcast because requesting client doesn't have any IP address. Your IP address field contains offered IP address. Then transaction ID, DHCP server ID, and lifetime fields are present. You remember in this slide we discussed two DHCP servers are present in our network. Assume DHCP offers are received from both DHCP servers. Client will send request to only one offer. Again, source field is not set. Destination is a broadcast, but why? I said client will send a request to only one DHCP server. So why DHCP request packet is going as a broadcast? It is because by sending the request as a broadcast, client is informing the 
whole network in which offer it is interested in. Your IP address field contains the offered IP address while next three fields are transaction ID, DHCP server ID and lifetime. In response of DHCP request packet, DHCP server sends DHCP acknowledgement packet. Its source field contains the address of device that sends this packet. Destination is a broadcast because yet Dora process has not completed, though client has got an offer. Your IP address field has offered IP address, then transaction ID, DHCP server ID, and lifetime sense of their values. On receiving this acknowledgement, DHCP process completes and client got its IP.